In this video, we're going to show you how to reconstitute your peptides. So you will see laid out here, you'll have your peptide. You will also have your 3 ml mixing syringe, your 18 gauge 1 inch mixing needle, your bacteriostatic or mixing water, and you'll have a sterile alcohol pad. The first step is we're going to open the syringe. and you're going to open the needle. And these attach through what's called a lure lock. So there's a twist on, and then they're there. Leave the cap on the needle until we're ready to use it and set that aside. Now with the bacteriostatic water and the peptide, you'll see they come with this plastic top. And you want to pop that off. they pop off nice and easily. Those you do not need to keep and you can throw away. Next, you'll take the alcohol swab. And this, you wanna just make sure that this gray rubber piece in the middle of the metal is nice and sterile. After you've done that, what we want to do is take the correct measurement of bacteriostatic water and put it into your peptide vial. Now for that you want to see your dosing guidelines. So what we'll do is we're going to take the cap off the mixing syringe and you're going to move the plunger down to the number of mLs of water that you're going to put into it. Now this creates negative pressure. You're going to push into the center of the gray rubber, push the air in, and then you'll see it helps you draw back out and finish up until you have the right amount of water. Now sometimes there's a little air bubble left in there so what I like to do is pull that out and push the top until I know I'm at exactly the right amount. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your peptide and you're going to take this and you're going to inject it into the center hole of that rubber, gray rubber. And you want to aim towards the side of the glass, not towards the peptides. You'll notice the peptides come in this powder form and that's so they can travel safely. safely. And once they're activated or reconstituted, they need to stay refrigerated. So you'll notice because there's pressure in here, once I push that in, the water tends to go in all the way by itself. You can pull the syringe out, put the cap back on the needle, and then what I do is I set a timer for four minutes. And you do not want to shake the peptide, you want to nicely swirl it or roll it in your hands for four minutes or until you can look through the glass and you no longer see particles. And that's how you reconstitute your peptides.